everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amora. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Today is quick and easy day because we are in Wednesday and I always do quick and easy on Wednesday and we are stepping away from Christmas or holiday crafting right now. We're going to do a birthday treat holder that I'd be skipping around a little bit for a while but you know me I can't stay away from Christmas or holiday crafting very long because we're going to be having Thanksgiving and Halloween things coming up here our new catalog is live right now with celebration where when you spend fifty dollars you get a free choice in the uh, celebration brochure so check that out on my blog at stampingwithamore.com because I always post everything there I am starting to post some inspiration sheets we'll get the measurements and some easy instructions on this. They are not step-by-step -step instructions. I just tell you the scoring and all the supplies you need and the measurements for all of my projects. I just started doing that again in the beginning of August. Um, I haven't done every one yet, but I'm going to start doing just every one. So you can get those on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. All right. Now, to these boxes, I love these. I get a little carried away and I wanna see it in different colors, so I start doing different colors. This one's Mango Melody, Magenta Madness, and Bermuda Bay. We are doing Gorgeous Grape today, so I am going to be set with my friends if they have a birthday. You can fill these with candy, you can put a small gift in here, a necklace or a bracelet. This measures, it's four inches by three and it's one inch wide. So it's really cute, really easy and quick to do. So let's get started with it. All right, we are going to use a piece of gorgeous grape cardstock. This is Stampin' Up! cardstock. I don't use anything but because this is why I became a demonstrator. If you've followed me very long, you've heard this story, but they have the nicest quality colored cardstock. It's really nice quality. It cuts really well. It sold me when I very first got my first order. And then from there, it just kept going on. And yeah, I love their basic white thick as well. It's really great for boxes and bags. And this is the best I found actually to make boxes and bags and treat holders because it's really, really nice quality. All right, this is five by eight and a half. And then we are using our 6x6 six six designer series paper. This is in our Brights collection. It comes in every collection that we have. So you have a lot of variety here to choose from. So you get every color in each collection. So this one is the Brights. I also used for the Magenta Madness, I used the 20. 21 22 designer series paper so it comes in all our in colors as well so i use this one for that and the star of the show is actually the sweets and treats you've seen me use this if you follow me this is the little figgy pudding that i used on a treat box for during christmas in july it's one of my favorite actually i thought it came out really cute i hope you all enjoyed it and I'll link it somewhere in the video if you didn't see it because it's so cute. I plan on using just every one of these because they're so cute. So we're using the cupcake and we're using the happy birthday. This also says a tasty treat for someone sweet. I love the sentiments on this. I used the bring on Christmas for the one with the figgy pudding. And then we are using the layering circles. And I told you, I think in my last video, that you needed to have these if you were a beginner because these are main staple if you're a crafter. So they're really, really good. So it, those come in the scalloped and the regular circle. All right, so let's get started with this. I'm gonna bring up my mini cut and emboss so we can cut out the circles that we're using on this. And we're going to do one in basic white. Oops, it does help if I have my place on there. I don't know why today I'm so sleepy. I don't know, I just felt like I could have slept in a whole lot longer. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to run this one through because I want to save it for the sentiment, the other part. So I'm going to run this one through first. I love this little mini one. It's so nice to be able to just bring it on my bench here and not have to worry about 
by the way this circle is one and three eighths about and then if you have punches I'm going to run through the scallop this one I don't I'll have to tell you what this one is too and then it folds up so nicely our big one folds up as well but this is so little and so convenient all right so this one the scallop here is about one and three quarters so it's a little bit larger than this other one but I wanted I liked it smaller I did on this one I did the larger basic white here but I like the looks of this better for some reason I don't know you can do how you like it but we are going to stamp our cupcake on here using memento black because we're using our blends to color it just stamp it right in the middle there and I am using light and dark crumb cake and light and dark Highland Heather for this one because I don't have blends in the gorgeous gray but it matches perfectly so we are going to color the cupcake the little bottom of this cupcake my mind just went on blank blank on what this is the cupcake <laughs> I've been so tired today I just um, felt like I could have slept in a lot longer so I'm just using a little bit of the dark and we're gonna blend it in just to get give it a little bit of character here and then we're gonna use the Highland Heather the light. We're gonna cut we're gonna color the little swirls. And then I'm gonna take the dark and I'm going to do the dark on the bottom here. And then we're gonna do some a little bit of highlighting just underneath those little just like that and I'm going to just blend that in just a little bit like that so cute so there you go there's our little cupcake and we are going to put that on with a dimensional onto our little scallop circle got to get it in the middle though Let's set that aside. I'm going to use that same piece of basic white that I ran that other piece through. I'm going to grab it really quick here and we're going to stamp the sentiment and get that cut out too while we have it. I like to use the straight edge here. This would be really cute party favors or, you know, like I said, gifts. For little gifts they're really really quick and easy to make so I am just cutting this this is probably about it's a half inch I'm gonna use my little snips for bannering the end here This might be a little shorter than my other ones. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, no, it's almost exact. Good deal. So this is, I'm going to tell you, it's about two and three quarter inches long. All right, we're going to set those aside and let's get busy with our box. So I'm going to bring this simply scored up here and we are going to score this. On the eight and a half inch side, we are going to score it at one half three and a half, four and a half, 
seven and a half. Oops, seven and a half. <laughs> Almost did it at seven and a quarter, and that's it. And then we're going to turn it, and you're going to score it at one inch. Like I said, super easy. All right, let's cut this. We are going to cut off this half inch side at the bottom. This is going to be our glue tab here. And then you're going to cut up each of these. are going to sharpen all these score marks and I am going to punch the hole after we have this together and I'm going to show you the reason why I did that. I'm going to use some Stampin Seal Plus on our little glue tab here. And then just pull that up, line it up. So this is going to be my back because that's the way that I, I adhered it. And then this will be my front. So that's it right there. Now I'm using the 3 quarter inch circle punch. Um, we don't carry this any longer. I'm sure everybody has at least a three-quarter or a half-inch circle punch. And we're just going to punch this. I'm just going to eyeball it in the middle. And then I have a pencil here, which I am just going to draw a circle here. And then I'm going to punch the inside circle. So they will match up. Just like that. I mean, you can see, really really good that worked really good for me <laughs> all right we are going to adhere the mat piece which is two and a half by two and a half mat this on there and we are going to take our little cupcake I'm using Stamp and Seal Plus on this because I want it to stay together. We're going to put this on here. You can use your wet glue or whatever you have. We're going to put some dimensionals on the back of the Happy Birthday. I love all these colors. Most of these are our Brights collection except for the magenta magnets, that's one of our in colors. And then I'm going to use this basic white crinkled seam binding ribbon because I don't have any that is gorgeous gray. You can also color this with your blends with the Highland Heather, but I kind of like the white with it. So I'm going to go for the white. And we're going to just tie a bow at the top. You can do the top however you like. You can just leave it open if you don't want to put a bow on it. It's really cute even open. But I like the little bow. And we're going to trim these ends. And there you go. All done. I probably make my bow a little bit smaller. It seems a little bit big. There we go. I'm going to trim that now. All right, so there you have it. Super quick and easy, y'all. And they're really, really fun. I love coloring the cupcakes, they're really cute. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. Don't forget this month, if you place an order with me, $50 or ab above. Um, using my hostess code, I will send you a free gift. You have to use the hostess code though. If your order is over $150, don't use the hostess code and I'll still send you the free gift. But don't use it because you'll miss out on your rewards and I don't want you to do that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a blessed day and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later everyone. Bye.